Example 3 will be one question whereby you have to know your NCR formula. If you don't know the NCR formula, you can't go on to solve this question. Okay, so let's have a look. 1 plus ax raised to the power of n is equal to 1 minus 12x plus 63x squared. Find the values of a and n. Now, the first thing that should strike you would be the power. Okay, in this binomial expansion, you have no idea what is the power. The power is an unknown, it's n. Right? Now, which is why in this question, you have to know your NCR formula because your calculator will be totally rendered useless. Because if you don't know what is n, you can't key in the n value into your calculator, isn't it? So, how are we going to do this question then? Well, very simple. So, what we do is, okay, we expand as per normal. Okay, because we already know when expanded and simplified, the expansion should look like this. Okay, so what we are trying to do here will be to expand this as what we would normally do. Okay, so let us just try. So first thing, we know that 1 will be power n, okay, plus n multiplied by ax, okay, raised to 1 power. Alright, next thing is of course nc2. Alright, and ax raised to the power of 2. And we stop here. We don't go on to the next term because we know that all we need to know uh, all we need to know will be up to only x squared. So in this case, well all we have to do now isn't it just to uh, simplify okay and then compare. Now here comes the problem. If you have no idea what is nc2, you can't use your calculator because you don't know what is n. Okay, and therefore you'll be stuck from here. Alright, which is why it is extremely important that you know the NCR formula. Alright, based on what we have learned earlier on on the NCR formula, okay, we know that NC2 is actually N multiplied by N minus 1 divided by 2 factorial. Okay, well, you stop at N minus 1 because there should be only two terms at the numerator. And the, the denominator is a 2 factorial. So what we have here will be an a square x square. Alright, so now, okay, we can further simplify this. We have 1 plus a n x plus n multiplied by n minus 1 over 2 factorial is 2 and then a square x square plus dot dot dot. Okay, so what we know from here will be definitely, you know, our a n is actually negative 12. And our, you know, this big chunk here is our 63. Alright, so by comparing coefficients of the, uh, from the left and to the right, we know that a n is equal to negative 12. Okay, and we also know that n multiplied by n minus 1 over 2 multiplied by a square is equal to 63. So from here, I mean this is uh, this question now becomes a question of a pair of simultaneous equation, isn't it? So all we have to do now is just to solve this pair of simultaneous equation in order to get the value of a and n. Okay, so from this equation we know that a is equal to negative 12 over n so we substitute in this a into this equation too. Okay, we will get n multiplied by m minus one divided by two multiplied by a square. So it will be negative twelve over n square is equal to sixty-three. So you know, simplifying and all. Well, you you will get. I mean, you can do this. Okay, so it becomes a 1, 4, 4 over n square, right, is equal to 63. So this n and this n can cancel, and this 1, 4, 4 and this 2 can cancel. Alright, end of the day, alright, you will get 72n minus 72 is equal to 63n. Okay, I mean after all these cancellations, you do your cross multiplication. All right, you will get this. All right, uh, one four four divided by two will give you seventy two. Okay, and from here, of course, you can solve with n, and you will get n is equal to eight. All right, 
So here we go, we got n is equal to 8 and all we have to do next to find a will be to substitute in the n equals to 8. So what we have to do now is very simple, just put in n is equal to 8 into this equation over here and we will get a as negative 3 over 2. Okay, now this example is a rather simple one. Alright, but nevertheless, it showcases um, the usefulness of the NCR formula. Okay, and of course as well, it brings to you um, the idea that how important it is for you to know the NCR formula, even though for most of the questions, you can use the calculator to calculate your binomial coefficient. Alright, but when there comes a question when you don't know the power, Alright, just like this question, you have no idea what the power is, okay, you know you have to use the NCR formula.